Hey everybody, Joe Betcher here with the next ultrasound of the month. This one was performed by Dr. Wilson. A patient came in with a bright red, swollen, painful wrist, and we needed to perform an arthrocentesis. Not every arthrocentesis needs an ultrasound, but the small tough joints like an ankle or a wrist can benefit from this. We sometimes stare at the joint and say, oh, I think the fluid's here, or maybe it's here, but with an ultrasound, there's no need to guess. This is what a normal wrist looks like. Typically, you're using the linear probe, and you place it in a sagittal fashion over the radial carpal joint. If fluid were to accumulate, we'll see it between the head of the radius and between the carpal bones seen right here. With Dr. Wilson's patient, there now is a hypoechoic fluid collection in that same joint space that raised the concern for a possible septic joint. The fluid collection appears large on the screen here, but if you use the hash marks on the side, you'll notice this fluid collection is actually only about a centimeter by three quarters of a centimeter. This is why ultrasound is so helpful to make sure we actually get the needle into the fluid pocket. We then prepped and draped the patient, made everything sterile, and performed the arthrocentesis. You can see this is being performed in a short axis as the needle comes in from the top of the fluid collection here. This is pretty much the same way as most of you guys perform your IJ central lines. I'll be honest, when I perform an arthrocentesis of the knee, I typically don't use ultrasound. The knee has good landmarks and it really isn't that beneficial to use the ultrasound machine for this. However, when a patient is morbidly obese and you can't feel any of the landmarks, that's when I pull out the ultrasound machine. This patient was so large that I actually could not visualize anything with the linear probe. And you can tell by the footprint at the top of the screen that I had to use the curvilinear probe. We again see a large hypochoic or black fluid collection with, uh, near the knee. Different from the first patient, I performed this orthocentesis actually in a long axis view as you now see the needle entering the screen from the left side going into the fluid pocket. Here's one last example of a very large patient that I could not feel any landmarks on, but the linear probe was able to visualize the fluid collection. And the same thing here, I insert my needle in a long axis fashion and get my fluid. All right, hopefully that was helpful guys. Thanks for watching.